Good evening and welcome to another video. You may have seen this in my previous videos. It's the DIY lithium iron phosphate battery charger. That's via USB-C. So here's my USB-C uh, paddle every decoy module that's set to 20 volts. And that goes into these terminals here. And this steps it down to 14.6 volts. And then we've got uh, just a pair of alligator clips to charge a lithium ion phosphate battery. Um, but I've actually set this to 15 because there's a um, 0.4 volt drop, a loss, due to this diode here. Um, as you can see, there's a heatsink here, so it does heat up quite a bit. And this is in a jiffy box. And there's not really any, any ventilation except for the hole there and the hole there. But that's covered up by the cords. So what I'm going to do is I've got this little 24-volt um, um, fan, brushless fan. Uh, I got a 24-volt because it's close to the um, voltage of this power delivery decoy unit thing. And as you can see, it's currently just being powered off a USB step-up converter, just to test. And you can, um, if you drop the voltage right down to like 12 volts, it still goes, but it's very um, slow. So the label up, um, that's the direction of airflow. So the airflow is flowing like that. Uh, probably going to have it like this. So it's sucking the hot air out. I think that's probably the best way to do it. And I want to also drill some holes up here because I want to be able to see the charging LEDs, these three over here. So what we'll do first is we'll um, uh, we'll mount this uh, to the box with some M3 screws and drill a few holes uh, to get some airflow through it. I'll check in with you after that. All right, so I've mounted the fan there, just with a couple of M3 screws, that's enough. Um, this uh, 3M Velcro sticker, whatever it is, will keep it um, from moving any further. It's not going to move anywhere. And there's some holes for ventilation. Not very aligned, but it'll do the job. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got it plugged in at the moment. And just to test that the fan will run, we'll just tap it into these two terminals here. And as we can see, the fan is moving. So I think what I'll do is I'll um, join these together into one for all connection, just to make it cleaner. Okay, I got the for all's um, crimped with the lead from the fan had a bit of an issue because I crimped them before I put it through the hole so I had to cut the fan wire and then rejoin it later just with some heat shrink uh, solder tubing but that, that all works now so yeah that is it so we've got some active cooling on this thing which is pretty awesome I'm very happy with it actually and yeah that's the end of the video so this shouldn't heat up very much anymore when i'm charging okay a little bonus bit for those of you that stayed at the very end what i failed to show you was i actually drilled three holes for the leds here cc slash cv constant current slash constant voltage and we have the charging led which is blue and the full led which is green and just to test everything still works, I have drained my DIY battery box. Let's have a look at the um, voltage. 11.6, so that's awfully low. And I'm just going to crank up the current because this thermal throttles anyway. The maximum it can do is 5 amps, but I've never seen it go past 3 really. So I'll plug in the... A USB charger that can give me 20 volts there we go and I've set it to 15 volts here because as I said before 
um, this diode um, has, there's a voltage drop of about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 volts. So at the output, we should get 14.6. So here is the stats, 2.27 amps we're drawing from it. Now I'm just moving the pentiometer here to see if we actually can increase anything. I'm going to change it to the current view. 2.53 amps. Let's just see if we can crank it all the way up. I won't go all the way up. Let's see if we can go all the way down. It'll let me go down. No, I think it just... Oh, it is going down. But, yeah, I want it to go as far as it can go. So I'll crank it up all the way. Um, that is 5.8 watts power. And... Yeah, there we go. I'll leave it at the amperage. So I've put the Jiffy Box case back on. We can see the light, which is perfect. All right, now I'm really ending the video.